welcome to The Daily Poem here on the Close Reads Podcast Network. I'm David Kern. Today's poem is by Gerard Manley Hopkins, a Jesuit priest and an Englishman. And it was this poem was written in 1877, but it was published posthumously, as was the case with most of his work. Hopkins is primarily known for a, a sort of uh, innovation called sprung rhythm. And I think you'll see what that's all about as I read this poem. So I'm going to dive right into it and then um, make a comment and then I'll read it one more time. This is God's Grandeur by Hopkins. The world is charged with the grandeur of God. It will flame out like shining from shook foil. It gathers to a greatness like the ooze of oil crushed. Why do men then now not wreck his rod? Generations have trod, have trod, have trod, and all is seared with trade, bleared, smeared with toil, and wears man's smudge and shares man's smell. The soil is bare now, nor can foot feel being shod. And for all this, nature is never spent. There lives the dearest freshness deep down things. And though the last lights off the black west went, O oh, morning at the brown brink eastward springs, because the Holy Ghost over the bent world broods with warm breast and with ah, bright wings. So, as I said, Hopkins is known for something called sprung rhythm. He described that as sort of the way it sounds, that it springs or flows from the poet, like plants coming out of the soil, I believe, is the analogy that he used. Um, and, and if you Google this, there's lots of sites, Wikipedia and, you know, um, Schmoop and a lot of the other sites that just have basic background on a lot of poets and on literature. You can, you can find a lot out about, about this idea if you, if you are so interested. But you can hear that that rhythm, that sort of springy rhythm, the kind of, there's something instinctive about it. It just sort of probably springs forth from the consciousness as the poet is writing, which is not to say that he doesn't offer some precision or revision, but there's something very reflexive. It's not random, but it seems to be reflective, reflexive and instinctive in the way that the, the unstressed and stressed syllables relate to each other, the kinds of word choices he used, the, the sounds that he's repeating, um, and the sounds that he's coming back to later on that he's echoing, um, and, and, include, and some of the images as well. Um, so let's read it one more time with, with all that in mind. God's Granger. The world is charged with the grandeur of God. It will flame out like shining from shook foil. It gathers to a greatness like the ooze of oil crushed. Why do men then now not wreck his rod? Generations have trod, have trod, have trod, and all is seared with trade, bleared and smeared with toil, and wears man's smudge and shares man's smell. The soil is bare now, nor can foot feel being shod. And for all this, nature is never spent. There lives the dearest freshness deep down things. And though the last lights off the black west went, O oh, morning at the brown brink eastward springs, because the Holy Ghost over the bent world broods with warm breast and with ah, bright wings. This has been The Daily Poem. Thank you for listening. I'll be back on Monday with another poem for you. Thank you.